How's it going everyone? Travis from LawReviewerPhoto.com and on today's episode we are going to be looking at and reviewing my gigantic, bulky, heavy, but fantastic medium format film camera, the Mamiya RB67. So I've been using the Mamiya RB67 for about a couple of months now and I really like the quality and the types of images that it can capture. I will admit it is a difficult camera to use if you've never used this type before, but once you learn the steps, you take the time to slow down, understand what type of camera you're using, I promise you can get some really cool photos with it. So let's go over it real quick. One of the most important things that is, in my opinion, the coolest feature about this camera is similar to a Hasselblad medium format camera. This is a completely modular system. So we can actually take this entire camera apart into four pieces. So we have our film back, which you can load any type of film you want and you can have multiple backs if you need them. One for black and white, one for color, which allows you to shoot either black and white or color at the exact same scene without ever having to finish an entire roll of film to move on to the next format. So that's really cool. And then we have our viewfinder. What we have on here is a waist level viewfinder, which allows you to look down into the camera and out through the lens. The difficult part about using this is that your left and right are actually going to be backwards. So it takes some getting used to, but it's pretty cool to be able to look down to the camera and see the scene right there in front of your eyes. And then obviously we have the lens, which is a bayonet mount, which you can take off just like this. This is a 180 millimeter lens. And this over here is a wide angle 90 millimeter lens. Now to any normal digital camera users, any Canon 60Ds like I'm using right now or 35 millimeter, a 90 millimeter lens is considered telephoto, but because we're shooting on a larger film format, this is actually considered a normal lens, similar to a 50 millimeter. This 180 millimeter lens would be more about 85 millimeters on a digital full frame camera. So that's really cool. And then it also came with this lens hood. And then separately, I bought myself a prism viewfinder, which makes it a lot easier to frame up and to use to compose my scene instead of the waist level finder. So if we put all this back together, so we can take out this entire thing, take it all apart, put it back together. And I will admit that it does weigh quite a bit. That's really, to me, the only major downfall about this camera is that it is really heavy. It might not look like a lot, but I remember when I first got this camera, I was a little shocked as to how big it was. I didn't think it would be that big, but this thing fully loaded probably weighs about seven or eight pounds. It's, it's quite a beast, maybe even more than that. I've never put it on a scale before. But for the most part, I don't mind. I actually think that because of the extra weight of the camera, it gives a lot more stability to any types of photos that I would take, especially landscapes or long exposures. So some of the functionality about this camera is that this actually has what's called bellows focusing, which has these knobs which turn and extend the lens away from the camera, which is really cool. You can get some very fine focusing in here. On this specific camera, all of the shutter and aperture controls are here on the front of the lens. So this goes from T, which stands for time, all the way up to 1 400th of a second, as well as f4.5, to f45. On the right side of the camera, you have the mirror release, which will, you take the photo, and as soon as you're done, you click this forward, and it brings back up the mirror so you can view it. Now, because we're using different backs for this camera, in order for you to take a picture, you have to remove what's called the dark slide. This dark slide helps to prevent any light from coming into this film back if you remove it from the camera just like so. Let me put this down here for a second real quick. So by having this sheet of metal in front of all of your film, it prevents any light from coming into it, just like that. By doing that, you're able to switch back and forth any type of film like we just discussed earlier. And so what we'll do in order to take a picture, there's a couple steps. So you set up your photo, set up your composition, Open up your viewfinder, compose, however you want to do it. And then your shutter button is down here. We have to remove the dark slide first. The camera will not fire if the dark slide is still in the film back. We take the photo, and in this case, I have the 
uh, mirror lockup mode on, which means that I have to press another button through my cable release over here in order to get it to fire. But after we're done taking the photo, we press this lever forward and it re-engages the mirror so we can set up for our next shot. And finally, one of the really cool things that I love about this camera is that because it's so heavy, anyone who wants to take either a landscape photo or a portrait photo, you normally have to turn the camera. Because the camera's so heavy, Mamiya decided to counter this effort by just being able to turn the film back onto its side. So right there, without having to rotate the camera at all, you can go from landscape to portrait instantly. So that's really cool. One of the other factors that's important to note is that this is a fully mechanical camera, so it does not run on any batteries. So that's a cool thing. But the downside is that this camera does not have any type of light meter built into it. So what I use is this digital spot meter, which allows me to look through this lens and out here and it focus it on a certain part of the scene with just a very small dot. And it gives me the exact amount of light that I need to measure. And by calculating all those efforts, we can figure out the best exposure. So that takes some getting used to. But for the most part, this camera, I really love it. I love how it works. I love how it sounds. And I love just getting compliments on it when people see me out and about using it. They've never seen a camera that big before. And I tell you what, because your negatives are so big, six centimeters by seven centimeters, you get some amazing detail coming out of this camera. Good camera, good lenses, that's what matters. So I wanna thank you guys for coming to watch this video. And I appreciate all of your feedback and all of your comments. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel here at Laura of Your Photo. Visit my website at www.lauraofyourphoto.com. Follow me and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Travis Laura of Your Photography, and on Instagram at instagram.com slash T Laura of Your Photo. Pretty sure that in the next couple of weeks, you guys are actually going to see me out in the field at Laguna Beach where I brought out this camera pretty early in the morning and I was able to get some really cool shots with it down at the beach and uh, see how those turn out. So hope you guys enjoy all these videos that I've been putting out and I will see you guys next time.